Hi guys and welcome to DIY with Nadia. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we are doing some spring DIYs from the Dollar Tree. So everything is either from the Dollar Tree or there's two things I believe um, in all three DIYs that are not Dollar Tree but you could definitely replace it with Dollar Tree. So without further ado, let's get into this video. For the spring wreath, I will be using this beautiful, elegant wreath from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be making it just a little bit softer and painting it white. The reason I'm doing this is because the flowers I'm putting on top of this wreath are going to be pink and they will stand out a little bit more and nicer against the white versus that beautiful natural oak shade. The flowers that I chose were these beautiful spring blooming branches and I used three bushels of them. Three bushels were way more than enough and as you will see my wreath will turn out nice and full. I did cut the flowers down to about an inch with the branch. I thought the branches were a beautiful element to bring the nature into my wreath and also I hot glued the flowers by the branches onto my wreath. To make our spring bow, I will be using these two different ribbons that I got at the Dollar Tree, the gold one and then the pearl one. The first thing I did was a measure approximately how long I needed the bow to be and then I needed to get that same length of the pearls. Now the pearls are a little bit thicker and five rows were too much so I cut two of the rows off. And as you can see, they fit really nicely right on top of that gold ribbon. Then I simply took my hot glue gun and just hot glued the pearls onto the gold ribbon. The gold ribbon was a type of fabric that would fringe, so I decided to grab it and cinch both ends before I went into making the bow. And of course, for safety reasons, I always put my little tea light out before I move on with the project. To find the center of the ribbon, I folded it in half and then I made a loop from the left and a loop from the right to make my bow. I brought the bow together with a white chenille wire and then I grabbed that wire and just wrapped it around the wreath and just pushed the flowers to the left and the right so kind of my chenille wire is hidden in between the flowers. To cover that chenille wire in the middle of my bow, I just grabbed a leftover flower and just hot glued it to the center. Now I'm taking the leftover pearls, the two rows that I cut off, and I'm making a loop with them. To hot glue this type of ribbon on top of each other, it's the best to use either some kind of a mirror or tempered glass like I'm using here and with the help of my little pink thimble that I got at the Dollar Tree. For this next project, we are using these three mini terracotta pots from the Dollar Tree. They come three in a pack for one dollar. The first thing I did was paint them with white acrylic paint. You could use any paint, including chalk paint. Just dull out that orange. Then I got my light pink acrylic paint by Craftsmart. 
and painted the pots on the inside a little bit and completely on the outside in that beautiful soft pink shade. With my little pots, I wanted the word sun to be spelled out. So I just grabbed a nice piece of white cardstock and pick a circle that was the best. And this one was about an inch in diameter. And I just traced three little circles and cut them out. Now I'm grabbing my gold ink pad and with a small brush, I'm brushing all the edges all around my little circles. This will give my little white circles a little bit of dimension and they will stand out nice and soft against the beautiful pink pots. The letters I'm going to be using to spell out sun, I got from my stash, but the Dollar Tree does have a ton of letters that you can use that would also work for this. I wanted to have the illusion that my letters were hanging from this beautiful gold ribbon. The ribbon that I'm using I had on stash but you can definitely find ribbon like this at the Dollar Tree. I measured how long I needed it from the top to about middle of my little pot and cut three little pieces. I then proceeded to hot glue the ribbon to the middle of a rim and then I used the same ribbon and went around the rim of the little pot. Unfortunately, my camera turned off at this point, but I just grabbed my little circles with the SUN and hot glued them to the middle of the pot right on top of that hanging gold ribbon. To complete my little planter pots, I'm using this gorgeous spring florals from the Dollar Tree. You guys, I absolutely love these florals and buy them out when I see them at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just grabbing one of these little stems and ripping off these leaves that come three to a little stem and just hot gluing them in the middle of each connection where my little ribbon goes down and the one that goes around and then I'm grabbing a little bit of the yellow buds and just cutting out a tiny piece of them and hot gluing them to the center. From the same set of florals, I will be making little plants. I'm grabbing my floral foam and just measuring a little bit of a cube to put in the planter and just pushing it in to the bottom. To make it easier for me to hot glue the little floral to the foam, I'm just grabbing scissors and kind of jamming it to make a little hole. Then I'm grabbing some hot glue gun and just attaching the florals straight into my floral foam. To cover the floral foam, I am using reindeer moss that I got at the Dollar Tree also, and just surrounding the little florals all around. And this is why it was important to color inside a little bit, because as you can see, even with the reindeer moss, you can still see the sides a little bit of my little pots. I got this beautiful bottle or a vase, I'm not sure what this is, from the Dollar Tree. I gave it two coats of white acrylic paint, you can also use chalk paint. Then I grabbed some light pink Craft Smart paint, which is also acrylic, and just dry brushed it all over the bottle. This gave it a little bit of dimension and it's not just this plain white bottle. I did let the bottle dry in between each layer of paint. Now I'm just grabbing some Mod Podge and giving it a nice coat and then putting it away and I did dry it for about three hours before I went on to use it. Grabbing these Woodcraft cubes, I will be painting six of them 
in that same light pink that I used to dry brush the little bottle with. And you already saw these cubes when I was dry brushing the bottle because I kind of did it in stages. What I want to do with these cubes is I want to spell out spring. I wanted my cubes to hang in a diamond shape. So I glued the letters from corner to corner. And as I said, you could definitely get similar letters like this at the Dollar Tree. I grabbed a piece of gold ribbon and measured it against the bottle's length to see how long I wanted my spring sign to hang. Then I just grabbed my cubes and just hot glued them onto my ribbon. Now I'm doing this on tempered glass because the ribbon I'm using is kind of see-through and I didn't want it to glue to my table. Now I'm just hot gluing my ribbon with my spring wording along the bottle from top to bottom. To cover that bottleneck area, I grabbed that same ribbon, wrapped it around a few times and hot glued it in place. Now I'm grabbing that same ribbon, making a simple bow and hot gluing it on top of my wording. For the vase florals, I'm using these beautiful baby breaths and I took two bushels of pink and one bushel of white. Well, what did you guys think? I hope you enjoyed the DIYs. Let me know which your favorite is. And also, I'm taking a little survey. What is your favorite style? Meaning chic, kind of hobo chic. Um, do you like glitzy glamour or do you like farmhouse? Let me know down below. And I look forward to seeing you guys and chatting with you in my next video. Bye.